Blippy. He guy's a genius. So Saturday morning, letting the kids watch a little Blippy video because the pool guy is about to show up. He's just coming over. We're gonna brainstorm, uh, kind of get put some ideas together. Uh, thanks to Carol and Laura, who both like emailed with their pool experiences. So uh, thanks for that. Rachel and I, I think we're on the same page, but we'll see. So one of our uh, really good friends from optometry school up in St. Louis is having twins. When's she due? I think it's March 30th, but she doesn't know. She's, she's been in like prodromal labor, pre-dromal. Pre okay. Well said. <laughs> uh, so she doesn't know she's gonna make it all the way to March 30th. Nope. Well, it's her third, Yes. Third delivery. Third, Third and fourth. fourth. So, does that mean they usually come a little early? Uh, I think it does tend to happen a little sooner. So we're gonna send her this twin pillow. It was a lifesaver with the twins. Oh yeah, they loved it. Yeah. And we just need to figure out what kind of box we're gonna put it in. She's also breastfed her other two kids, which I think she plans on breastfeeding the twins. And this, this was absolutely, hands down, the product I used the most as a twin mom. Breastfeeding. You and me both. We'll link one below. They're like a hundred dollars, but it's probably the best hundred dollars we spent. So while we're waiting for the pool guy to come, one of my goals for today is to go through Eloise's clothes yet again. It's amazing to me how quickly this happens. So she's growing at an incredible rate, obviously. She's in her first year of life and like I randomly pull something out, it doesn't fit, I set it there, look for something else, and I need a better system. So now I have this here, and if something's too little, it's gonna go in that. This doesn't really need to be here. So I can just keep it, keep it there, and then I can just throw stuff in it that's too little. She's fully transitioned to a sleep sack now. Like she went from being swaddled, briefly went in the Merlin sleep suit, slash zippity zip, I don't know, like a week. And then we transitioned to a sleep sack. And around that time, she grew out of the sleep sacks that the twins used for a long time. They were in a sleep sack way before Eloise was. So I'm gonna be going through, this is, this is Eloise's dresser in our room. It's just nice having her dresser in our room so that like when we're doing laundry and she's asleep, we don't have to like set it outside her door like we do with the twins. Can't really put the clothes away while they're sleeping. So, I'm going to be going through this stuff and sadly putting it away. So, this is she's basically in nine month clothes now. So, all of these three to six months are too short for her. Like, that's not going to work anymore. So, it's sad how fast they move through these clothes in the first year. It just goes so dang fast. So, super disappointing. The. You wanna hold my hand? Aw. Oh. We need to fix your helmet. They wanted to wear their helmets. Uh, even though we're not riding bikes or anything. Yeah, super disappointing the pool guy didn't show up. He was supposed to be here at 9, it's 10.30 already, so I'm done waiting for him, obviously. I don't know if it's because it rained last night or it's it's literally 37 degrees out. But either way, I mean, no call to say, hey, let's reschedule no-showed. <sighs> Not a good start to this project. Hang on! Oh! 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 turn! He's done, he's done. Yeah, B, let's go. Boom. You gotta be there. Yeah. Ready, Boom. Lindell? Lindell's turn. Okay. Got it? Go window. One, one two, two, three, four, four five, six. six. She's doing the reverse crutch. Uh-oh. What is that? What is that? Wow, did you pick that sticker out for your helmet? Yeah. What other stickers did you pick? That one. What is it? That one. What is it? Firefly. Yeah, what are your other stickers? What is that? 
Dinosaur. That's right. Cool. Another. You want to do another? Yeah. Lindell. Lindell, what did you pick? So she Hi, baby. Wanted me to take the giraffe off. I took oh, the giraffe off. That's sad. I know. What did you pick? Oh, a horse. That is so cool. What were the ones that you vetoed? There was one of a little girl wearing like a fur, a spotted fur coat with a tear on. Okay. And another one, a fork, and there was one more. <laughs> Are you just picking random things and saying that you like it? <laughs> you want a lamp on yours? <laughs> no. No. No, I do this one. Oh, a fairy? Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that. This is great. A fire trap! Wow! You can't hold it, it's on your helmet. It stays on your helmet. It's for decoration. Kinda... It works pretty well if you just fold the page just a little. Like this. Got it. Where do you want to put it? Oh, pretty. So pretty. <laughs> Hi, Judy Pie. Hi, Judy Pie. Yeah. She's kind of at that age where separates are hard. Yeah, we need to get you in a onesie. So these are all nine or 12 months, and that's what's working these days. I'm separated into piles of this summer, this fall, next summer is on the counter, I think, and donate. And then this is send, we're sending this to my friend who's having the twins with the breastfeeding pillow. Twin boys. She well, has two boys. Yeah, she has two boys and she's having twin boys. Pretty awesome. Let's go, guys. So we've been out for a walk, and these guys have been playing on this little hill for like five minutes. I'm trying to get us home because it's almost dinner time. Bear, let's go, buddy. Yeah, all right, get back up, honey. Uh-oh. So how are we spending the corona quarantine? Having Rachel's parents over two nights in a row for dinner. Gourmet dinners. Last, what did we have last night? Salmon. Salmon last salmon. night. Salmon. We're having steak tonight. Oh, lordy. Hopefully you're not a vegetarian. It's so nice living next next door to family. And then my parents are coming tomorrow night. But part of the dinner tonight is a dessert coffee. Hey Dennis, what's this thing called? Bodum. Bodum? With a, a bodum. And some Hershey's chocolate Edwards cream pie. Point at the poop rather than the motorcycle. Point at the poop. 
Look. More poop. Uh oh, look at that. It says dog poop doesn't go away. Do you poop? That one. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, do you? Oh. Sometimes. You get oh, be careful, oh, Bear. Oh. Be careful. <laughs> So this is the, that's the caboose oh, wow. that has two car seats in it. I can do. You're upside down. Poor baby. She doesn't have anybody that cares about her. You're upside down. <laughs> Happy baby pose. Yeah. <laughs> She's good at yoga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bear went into a lunge on the porch the other day and was like, Bear, do yoga. <laughs> it's like lunging. <laughs> Hi, Kiku. He won't do it when it's on. He'll just sit and watch it. Yeah. Hi, Kiku. So we fully transitioned from Eloise out of the snoo into her crib. She did really well. It was really, it was truly an easy transition. So I think that's like one of the things that we feared about the snoo was transitioning from the snoo into the crib. And the the snoo like promotes like, you know, easy, natural transition in the crib. It really was. It helped that, you know, Rachel did like a couple of, eh, probably about two or three days worth of naps in the snoo without turning it on. So I think that like, that helped. Uh, but yeah, she really, it was a, it was a really easy transition, so that's true. But baby, overall, baby Eloise is a really easy baby, so who knows with other babies. All right, so what the heck is this? Borum, Adorum? Bodum. Bodum. Okay. Um, there was another name, and I'm drawing a blank on what it was called. Lighter. So what happens is you have all the water in the bottom, you have your coffee on top, and the top part is a glass tube goes down in and as the water heats it will start going up the center tube into the upper bowl and then once it's all gone as the water cools it'll go back down through the tube and into here and this will be the ready to drink coffee all right and so you get a true even extraction of the coffee grounds oh. day three we've been exposed I think I'll leave specifics out mm -hmm. but we know of somebody who very likely has the virus but they won't test they're not testing because he's a younger gentleman early 40s probably mm -hmm. and there's just a criteria that you have to meet before they'll even use a test kit on you but it's pretty obvious that he has the virus he was up in Kansas City and we were around, well, me and the kids and my dad and my sister and my mom were around somebody who was around him. So with the timeline, we're just waiting. It's a waiting game at this point. So it's possible. Oh gosh, I hope not. Me too. But now it like more so than, even more so than before, it's really important for us to be self quarantining just in case we're carrying it. How long, we should figure out like what date we need to make it to where if we don't show any symptoms, we'll be clear. Yeah, well I went to work on Tuesday, so probably 12 days after that. Yeah, that's true. But 12 days after you saw that, right. one person might be good too. Mm-hmm, so that would be like Sunday? 
So, today's vlog I mentioned about like being bummed about the pool guy not showing up, which just absolutely sounds ridiculous in the state that we're currently in. Should we point out again that the rest of the footage is behind and that this is from the future? Yeah, well, so th this is, well, we said quarantine day three. Yeah. So we're just kind of trying to keep a timeline um, because this footage is from Saturday. Obviously, today is Friday. So the following Friday. Right, so it's about a week behind. We think that we're, since things are changing by the day, we're going to give you like a real time update at the end of the footage that's from last week's days. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. All right. See you later.